Hello again, I recently posted a review of Hockley Dark and English Dark Mild Ale. Unfortunately, the sound really screwed up. You heard a lot of clicking and my voice was very high-pitched and scratchy and it kept cutting out. So, I deleted the video. But I really wanted to post a review of this beer because it's quite delicious. It's very malty. Um, it's a great session ale that we can have all year round. I can see this warming down during the cold winter months. I can see it having a refreshing beverage during the hot summer months. Unfortunately, I only brought some one can. And... I drink it all during my review. This is a very delicious ale. I rated it a 7.5 out of 10. If you see it at your local liquor store, or your local beer store, or wherever you buy beer, I highly recommend you pick it up and give it a try. It's quite delicious, and... It's definitely a beer I will be having again. Um, sorry for the short review, but I drank all the beer, and there's no way I was going to leave up my last video with just poor quality. My webcam does that occasionally. Um, as I said, final rating, 7.5 out of 10, almost an 8. It's that good. And stay tuned for my next beer review or video game review. Probably beer review because I went to my good beer store that sells craft ales and picked up two 12 packs. One of them, uh, Waterloo Traditional IPA, and the other one, a mix, one term mix pack of. Granville Island, based in Vancouver, Ontario. Anyways, sorry for the short review. Sorry for the fact there's no beer. Take care, all. Bye.